Hi viewers, welcome to LMA Solution. Today we are going to see about Fuzzy MBPD Solar Charger Controller model in MATLAB. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. So I am going to explain the model. So this is the model we are having for Fuzzy MBPT solar charger controller. So this model consists of a PV panel. So this PV panel rating here we are using two parallel string and four series string and here you can see that so this is a single panel model uh, rating so the maximum power is for single panel is 250 watts and open circuit voltage is 36.6 and voltage at maximum power point is 30.9 and short circuit current is 8.75 and uh, the current at maximum power point is 8.1 so this panel can produce maximum of uh, 2000 watts at uh, 1000 watts per meter square at 25 degrees Celsius. So, this power can be very depends upon that the irradiation level. Okay. So, this is a panel detail we are using, and then here we are using zeta converter. So this zeta converter can operate in both mode, right? I mean, uh, bug mode as well as boost mode. Here, this uh, zeta converter can be operated in the bug mode because the voltage around <coughs> this PV panel uh, during that MPPT, that uh, that mean maximum power point condition is around. Uh, you can see here, right? Uh, is around 123.217 so here we are used that uh, battery battery having the rating of 48 volt so this voltage right mean here we have voltage around 120 or 123 volt this voltage is going to be converted into 48 volt so this zeta converter can be act as a bug mode okay so this is the rating of this um, battery so we are using the dust battery with a nominal voltage of 48 volt the rated capacity of the battery is 200 h so initial state of charge is 30 percentage so here we are going to apply that uh, fuzzy mbpt solar charger controller concept that means we are going to combine that fuzzy mbpt algorithm with the uh, battery charging so for that we have to measure uh, two things one is pv array detail and then and battery detail okay so it's not fussy po mbpt this is fussy mbpt and battery charger controller okay so i'm going inside that mean i'm going to click this one so here we are measuring that uh, PV voltage and current and then here we calculate the PV power so that will be given here to measure the PV power and same way we are providing that uh, PV voltage and current to the passive MBPT okay so here inside we have calculated that mean we are delaying that voltage right so here we are delaying that voltage and here we are delaying that uh, power right and then you have to calculate that uh, v of n minus v of n minus 1 p of n minus p of n minus 1 so and then uh, we are uh, dividing that uh, uh, del p divided by uh, del v okay so this is nothing but slope of that uh, pv six of uh, solar pv array so we are calculating the del PV del V by, by using this VPU and IPU of the solar PV array. 
and then is given to in uh, given to input for bus controller the bus will be generate the duty cycle so here we are using simple uh, uh, rules in order to generate the duty cycle based upon this uh, the slope value del p divided by del v okay so let us So let us uh, open that fuzzy logic detail. Okay, so this is a detail we are implemented for that uh, MBPT. So it is have only one input and one output. So the input will be del p divided by del v. The output will be duty cycle. So this del p divided by del v having the the range in between minus zero point one to zero uh, zero point one, and then we are considering then we are categorizing the different. Mm, a range that mean NP, NM, NS, Z, O, P, S, P, M, uh, P, B. Okay, so we are categorized into seven. That mean uh, seven membership. That mean we are using uh, seven triangular membership to categorize that uh, the change in slope. And same way we are using duty cycle. So here that uh, converter going to be operated in the buck mode, right? Because um, the voltage will be converted from 120 to 48 so the duty cycle should be is in between 0 to 0 0.5 so i'm going to choose the duty cycle in between 0 0.15 to 0 0.4 and then i'm going to uh, separate this region into seven membership function n b n m n s is a two p s p m p p so for different region of duty cycle as like in that uh, change in uh, slope right so next you have to uh, make some uh, relation between this change in power with the duty cycle okay so for that here we develop seven rules so here you consider if change in slope is negative big okay it is very negative big then so we have that we need to increase the duty cycle at the positive big right so when that mean the relation here we have that inverse relation so that mean uh, the change in slope is very high in negative direction then we, we we need to choose the duty cycle in the positive direction okay so we have the the inverse relation so negative medium so positive medium so here negative small and uh, positive small here zero and zero so here positive small here negative small so here for positive medium and here negative medium so here positive big and negative so this the, the, that means uh, we are going to relate that slope of slope of that uh, pvra with respect to duty cycle and both are having the inverse relation okay in opposite direction if it is negative means it is positive that means slope is negative means the duty cycle positive and then it it, it have some relation between that uh, different um, categorization right nugget and that mean big medium small uh, zero so positive small medium and big right so so based upon that we create only seven rules for this uh, fuzzy mbpt so it is a simple mbpt algorithm so uh, so this detail is loaded into matlab file and then given into here right after that it will be provide duty cycle okay this positive passing mbpt will provide duty cycle based upon this ppv ipv from the solar pv array so next we can see that battery charger right so in battery charger controller here we are using constant voltage control concept um, that means uh, here we have to combine both things one is first we need to check the soc of the battery so here we need to measure soc that means state of charge of the battery and then uh, here we are measuring that the battery voltage so you have to compare with some uh, constant so this constant nothing but uh, floating voltage of the battery so here you can see here the floating voltage floating or fully charged voltage right is around 52.26 right so you have to compare with that uh, so here we are considered that 
that means fully charged voltage is here is uh, uh, 52.26 right so here we are considering that floating voltage value is 55.4 so when that uh, battery uh, current that mean voltage is just to 55.4 so it going to be disconnected from this and that means charger will be disconnected from the system so just we have to compare the battery voltage with that constant so if it is less than or equal to that uh, floating voltage we are consider right so then it will allow this duty cycle right so that means this condition true it will be one here so then it will allow that duty cycle here right so next you have to check that the soc of the battery if the soc of the battery is less than 100 then it will be one and then this will allow this duty cycle okay up to the pure generator so this will be generate the pulse for that okay if this condition is not true if it is zero so that pulse pdm will be that means it's not allow the pdm so this condition also zero is not allow the uh, duty cycle that means and duty cycle uh, is not allowed in this block right in order to generate the pulse so if both condition will be true then we are charging the battery if any one condition is not true then we are not charging the battery because the condition that mean uh, if this condition is not true that mean the soc of the battery is 100 percentage so no need to charge the battery if this condition is not true so that the battery voltage is less than floating voltage i suppose if battery is having more than that voltage 55.6 volt then mean and this condition is not true then we need to stop that charging of battery so we are applying this one okay so this is a battery charging control so this is a same bbt control right and then here we created that uh, step change in the irradiation so from 0 to 4.1 second the irradiation here fixed at uh, 100 watts per meter square after 4.1 second we change that uh, irradiation to 500 so we have to check the response of the system so here, here already i simulate this model this is a model i simulated so here you can see that so this is a response of the system so initially we made it at uh, 1000 watts per meter square and 23 degrees Celsius. so here you can see that the maximum voltage is around 123.4 and then current of the pv panel is around uh, uh, nearly 16 and 17 amps and then the maximum power we are getting around 2000 watts as per our PV cat is 6 right so after 4.1 second what happened the irradiation change from 1000 to 500 so because of that uh, we are having some uh, oscillations and then is come back to the normal position that means here that voltage is around 123.4 then current is around 7.95 and then we are getting the maximum power is around uh, 1000 watts watts okay so that means uh, you can see this detail here right when you click this one so here i am going to place instead of 600 i'm going to fix 500 and then check the power level so here you can say for for 1000 watts when we is around 2002 right for 500 is around 983.9 okay so the same value we are getting here right so now you can check here 981.2 we are getting but actual the actual theoretical voltage level is 983.4 watts right but we are getting 91.2 here right so here also we are getting around 2000 or 1995 watts right so we are extracting the maximum power with the panel and also the same power will be used for charge the battery okay so when the irradiation is uh, 1000 watts per meter square so the uh, voltage voltage is around 1948 watt and also you can see that the battery current is around minus 41 amps right 41 amps so that means the full power will be transferred to the uh, battery to charge okay after that irradiation change from uh, uh, 1000 watts per meter square to 500 watts per meter square 
so what will happen that power level is degrees to 98 81.2 so because of that that, that, that uh, charging current of the batteries is uh, reduced from minus 41 to minus 20 amps okay so this is because of this uh, uh, reducing that irradiation okay because uh, the power level of the pv is reducing to 981 so that's why the charging current of the battery also reduced to minus 20 amps so we are getting maximum power from the pv panel as well as we are charge the battery uh, by using the charger controller by using this method uh, so this method and also you can see that this method having that the efficiency is around 98.63 percentage okay so efficiency of the charging that means the power from the pv and then power from the uh, power in the charging power of the battery so you take the ratio that means charging power of the battery by pv battery so that percentage is around 98.63 percentage so this is the working of this fussy uh, mbpt solar charger control model so here we implemented a sida converter the sida converter is operated in a work mode okay to charge the battery so thanks thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for no bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much